The standard normal distribution has a mean of 0 and a variance and standard deviation of 1. This sketch shows the standard normal distribution. On the horizontal axis you have the standard normal variable z, which has a mean of 0, and the standard deviation of 1. So the variance is also 1. And if you square root the variance here, you get 1. The square root of 1 is 1. The probability that z is less than 1. Here's the z value that's equal to 1. We're looking for the region that's less than 1. The arrow points to the left, so shade to the left of the line. And the shaded region is the region that we're interested in. Table 3 from the formula book. On the outside you've got z values accurate to two decimal places. The first decimal pla place is on, along this column here and the second decimal place along this row here. So always round z values to two decimal places before going to the tables. So this value here is 1.00 to two decimal places. Back to the tables, we have 1.0 here, that's the first decimal place, the second decimal place is also 0, and that takes us to 0 0.84134. That's about 84%. So 84% of that distribution was shaded. Okay, second example, the probability that Z is less than 1.28. So again mark a line 1.28 on the sketch, go to the tables, there's a 1.2, and here's the 8, so there's 1.28, and where do they meet? On uh, here, 0 0.89973. And here's the line at 1.28. Which way is the arrow pointing? To the left. It says Z less than. So shading to the left. So that probability there is about 90%. So 90% is approximately shaded there. And there's the Z value, 1.28 at that point. Another example, the probability that Z is less than, um, let's have a look at some negative values this time, so the left hand side of the distribution. So Z less than minus 1.52. Again, mark the line at minus 1.52. Less than means we're shading to the left, which is the direction of the arrow. Now the z values in the tables are all positive, but the z value in the question is negative. So go to the tables and look up z is equal to 1.52, ignoring the minus. There's the 1.5 and the 2, and they meet up at 0 0.93574. 
This probability is about 93.6%. Clearly that's not the shaded region. That's not 93.6% of the total area shaded. That probability is actually for the right hand side. Just remember this, if you ever shade less than a half of the distribution, okay, so if you've shaded less than a half of the distribution, you must do 1 minus the probability that you've looked up from the tables. So 1 minus 0 0.93574 will give you the probability of the shaded region. So 1 minus 0 0.93574 will give you 0 0.06426. And that's the answer. That's your final answer. That's about 6.4%, which looks reasonable for the shaded area. Okay, another example, but this time we're looking at more than probabilities. Another negative value. On the number line there, minus 0 0.85 is around here. Shade to the right of that line. Ignore the minus, go to the tables, look up 0 Zero point eight zero two three four. Now you need to decide does that represent the shaded region or the unshaded? Clearly that's about eighty point eighty percent it's the right hand side. So the value that you've looked up is the final answer. There's no need to do one minus, you have not shaded less than a half of that sketch. You only do one minus if you've shaded less than a half of the sketch. You haven't done that in this case, so that's your final answer, 0 0.80234. If I change this question so that it reads the probability that Z is more than or equal to, it will have no effect on the answer. The method you use to work out the answer is still the same. Nothing changes. This is the previous example. If I do less than or equal to minus 1.52, still the same working out, still the same answer. Less than or equal to 1.28, still the same answer. No changes to your working out. The probability that Z is equal to 1.00. Mark a line where Z equals 1. And this time you look at the equal sign and it's not saying shade to the left and it's not saying um, uh, shade to the right. Uh, so you end up not shading anything in the sketch. The area shaded represents the probability. If you've shaded nothing, then the probability is nothing. Okay, so watch out for these questions. That say the probability that something is equal to something in the normal distribution, the answer is always zero. A bit of a trick question, usually worth about one mark in the exam. Okay, so if you have equals to, remember that the probability will be 
zero. Okay, another question. And this time we're looking at the probability that z is between two values. A bit more complicated. Okay, so z is greater than 0 0.89 and z is less than 1.93. Okay, there's about 0 0.89 here, 1.93 is about here. And the region in between these two is what we're interested in. Be careful how you read this side. Z is greater than 0 0.89. It's not less than. You read it from the center first. Z is greater than 0 0.89. That's the region we're looking at. Work out two separate probabilities, which you then subtract at the end. The largest minus the smallest. Okay, so work out each one and then you subtract the probabilities at the end. So what do you actually work out then? Okay, work out the probability that Z is less than for both, and the numbers that go in the brackets, well, it's the 0 0.89 and 1.93, but it's always less than for both. Look up the probabilities from the tables. And if you were shading the region to the left of 0 0.89, that represents about 81%. So there's no need to do 1 minus to the answer at that stage. And then do the same with the other side. Look up 1.93 from table 4 that's 1.93 which gives you 0 0.97320 and at this stage you just subtract the two probabilities that you've worked out always check to see if these two probabilities are the right ones or whether you need to do one minus to any of them a sketch for each one would be a good idea as well. Subtracting. And there's your final answer. So the shaded region is approximately 16%.